Hey, welcome in. What is up, everybody? It's good to see you. Um, today, we're going to be taking a look at my top five Marvel board games. So, I have a pretty limited amount. I don't know how, I mean, I have more than probably most people when it comes to uh, just like board games that are specifically Marvel. Um, but hey, it's a, it's a love of mine. So, I like, uh, I'll share that with everyone here so let's take a look and dive in um so at number five we are going to have marvel legendary so this is i got brought onto this from d20 who um has been playing this more recently and i was like yeah that's great let's go in and play and i did only get the marvel like legendary what if box which Honestly, I, I don't think I spent 60 bucks on it. There's no way. Um, for me, I I don't know. I must have had it on sale or something somewhere. Um, this is, I'm just looking at like Atomic Empire site, which I don't get paid from them. I don't know, but I just always buy stuff from their site a lot of times um, because it, um, I don't know, works out. But I do, I mean, I really enjoy going to local shops as well. But this feels, you know, at least at least I'm ordering from what feels like a local shop. I don't know if it, I, I think it is. I've looked it up online. It seems like a cool place. Um, but that's that spiel. So this is Legendary. Um, it's, uh, right, a card game. Um, D20 got into it. And so, um, right, he has a playlist here full of them. Sorry, D20, that I haven't watched many of these. But... Um, I think I've watched more of the live plays actually of these, but, um, it's cool. So if you want to get to know, man, D20, I did not realize he had this many, um, legendary stuff going on. So it's cool. I, um, should watch more of this, figure it out, um, see how it goes. But yeah, my, my, like the, the reason it's number five is that like, I couldn't really even get through one game of it. It's just like. I see the appeal, and I like watching it, but when I was playing it, it just, I don't know, it felt like so much new things to learn, and then it just felt like it was about to be so much to dive into and purchase as well. I'm like, I can't, I can't be in the game of buying, like, the entire What Ifs or the Legendary set, um, but yeah, so I don't know, I feel like I'm sounding negative about it, maybe, maybe because I do feel, I don't know, but it, um... I need to find some time to get it onto the table more and to just, like, learn how to play it, right? I bet if I learned how to play it and could play it well, then the games would go a little faster and I would like it more. But, yeah, that's number five, Marvel Legendary. Uh, at number four, we have Marvel Dice Throne. Yeah, so this one I got a while ago. I think I got it at Barnes & Noble's when they did their, um, like, uh their Thanksgiving 50% off sale type of deal. Um, and I was like, Dice Throne, sure, let's try this out. And, right, like Dice Throne is its own entity, but I find when you throw Marvel in, right, when you throw something, right, Lord of the Rings, the card game, when you find something that I know, right, like there's IP around it that I can relate, like, okay, I know these characters that I'm going to play as, that's what gets me into playing games. Um, that's just personal. Um, my stuff. So Dice Throne's cool. Um, I don't know if you haven't played it right. It's a dice throwing game. So you get to choose a character like Miles Morales. You roll and you're playing against someone. And then based on what you roll, you get to choose um, different actions in there. So, right. Um, and then you're trying to uh, eventually, I don't know, you can try to get your ultimate, um, that's difficult to do, but it's a fun time. I've, like, in the limited amount of times I've played it, um, I've enjoyed it. And, um, right, the thing with that, right, we're, we're solo gamers, right, we're, like, if you're watching me, you're probably coming here from Marvel Champions, and what I love about Marvel Champions is that I can play by myself. Um, the Dice Throne right now, you can't. So they added a solo mode with, I'm trying to get to it. Here's all their newer characters. There's a battle chest. Is this not the latest? This must be, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This is an old Kickstarter, my bad. Um, they did a new Kickstarter, right, where um, in the latest one, 
you can actually go in and let's look it up. Uh, Marvel dice dice throne. What's going on here? Okay, jeez Louise. Oh yeah, they there there it is. Okay, so they they did an X Men uh, Kickstarter within this past year, and so now we get to um, come in and it has. I'm just going through all this to just show it has single missions, um, dice thrown missions, so you can play by yourself. Deadpool came in, so I didn't. I think I missed the original Kickstarter for this, and then had to go to backer kit or something so uh but i wanted it and so this is going to be coming in um which is interesting I, i'm like scratching myself i didn't do the the full everything bundles because i just don't have time for that and i <laughs> don't um i don't know if i like the game enough right but i know i love x-men and i know i love doing solo stuff so you get all these missions now so We'll see how that goes when the Kickstarter comes in. Um, so maybe this will go up, honestly, if I can play it solo. Um, but even now, the what they have, like you can play, it's it's fun. Like I think I think this one comes in with like some errata cards because Thor is an absolute beast and Miles Morales is not. Um, so anyway, there's all kinds of cool stuff with Dark Dice Throne and it's fun. I love rolling dice so. Um, we get that aspect for it. So let's move on. I'm spending too much time on Dice Throne. Um, number three is going to be, boom, uh, Marvel United. So here we go again with a game that, um, somewhat to Dice Throne that I've went in on Dice Throne a little bit, but Marvel United, boy, oh boy, did I go in on it. Um, in this multiverse past Kickstarter, um, I got into it, I got some of the boxes, and it was a collect them all type of deal, and oh man, so now I'm just like, still just like, I look back, the, the Marvel United is starting to get fulfilled now, so that, I'm gonna get infinite boxes coming in, because I bought like, everything, and um, including all the past stuff, and so... The thing about it is that I did all that, and I don't really like to play the stinking game. Um, I played it with my fiance, and I've gotten to, um, like, it's a fun game for that type of stuff, and, like, playing with, like, others who don't, like, I don't know, who aren't going to dive in and super, like, learn a game, um, like, champions or whatnot. So, United is fun. I need to get it onto the table more. And it breaks my heart that I played it and it just like doesn't, I don't like, I'm not in love with it and I went so deep into it. So I don't know if you want to buy uh, Multiverse or Marvel United stuff, I might be your guy because I'm just going to have these boxes sitting there. Um, but what it will do is, um, uh, I'm trying to see, oh, you know, I skipped some stuff with... Let me see, I think I skipped something here. I talked about D20, Marvel Legendary. I talked about Dice Throne. I did skip. Um, I do like watching uh, the few videos that Before You Play has. So we're bouncing back a bit there. Sorry, but uh, Before You Play, these two, they have a great uh, playthrough videos of some of the Marvel Dice Thrones. So check that out. Back to number three, we're looking at United. If you want to watch United as well, um, yeah, Dale, the casual gamer, he has an awesome set of videos and... Those are just enjoyable to watch. Um, love Dale. I hope he's doing wonderful. Um, what a guy. And so the next one would uh, be Josh as well with Get Up and Game. Um, man, oh man, talk about two just kings of the uh, kings of the game here. Um, I wish Josh the best as well. It's what a what a phenomenal dude. Um, from what we've got to experience with him just through videos you know um so he has some cool tutorials and videos that i like to watch as well um oh i missed one the commander multi yeah, i might have to watch one of your videos there get up in game and so that's marvel united um i know i'm not really explaining the games well um but this one right you get mini characters so it comes in with minis and then you um oh boy have a play mat of like six locations and then locations they get um 
uh, things added to them. Man, there's so much on here. I thought maybe, here we go. So I'm trying to see, right? You get your location board, set it up. Um, that's a terrible video to have making here for you guys. Um, but I don't know. It's fun, right? You get all these characters and that's a huge draw to it where it's like a big collect them all type of feel. Um, but essentially you have your board and you are, let's see Dale set it up here. You do, do, do. right. So he's, oh, I don't even know. Um, we have Dale. He's just unboxing it, huh? How to play. Let's look at some of this stuff. I'm just rambling. Um, but yeah, here, so here's Dale's setup here. You have locations, you have characters that you get cards for. Um, and then you do little actions like you're saving um, civilians or you're defeating thugs and you're clearing threats and as you go along the villains chasing after you doing other stuff um, so I don't know it's fun the the what we'll get into with number two here I gotta move along is um, why the draws to this game and it's the minis right like minis are so cool so number two my favorite second favorite game is going to be Marvel Zombies. Now, Marvel Zombies, awesome. <laughs> like, it depends, right? If you like the gameplay of Marvel United, it could go over Zombies, but um, this is getting me into Zombicide in general, and Marvel Zombies is so cool. <laughs> I like playing it, um, right? You get, like, a city board that you lay out, and then you have certain actions with all your different characters. Um, again, right? It's it's a Kickstarter game, so it's expensive, like, especially, jeez, we six devour pledge. Um, so I ended up missing the, the Kickstarter for this and ended up kind of scrounging around to find other games. I don't know what's going on with the bottom of the screen here. Um, but, uh, Marvel Zombies is cool, right? And this one, like, kicked off me getting into uh, painting minis, so I'm dabbling a little bit in that. So for example, like this is a beast here, so I've gotten to paint him, and like it's fun, you get to do like paint your favorite characters, and so this is what draws me into like zombies the most, is getting to paint them. Like I've spent way more time painting than I have actually playing the game, but getting the game to the table is pretty cool. I'm glad I didn't spend infinite amount of money on it. Um, since I don't play it that much, but it is so much fun. Like this game, I wish I played way more and I want to get my friends into it as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping to paint it more. Maybe United, you know, maybe I'll paint them and then try to sell them because um, I don't play it, but zombies I definitely want to hang on to. Um, so right at Tomic Empire, it's, it, it's pricey, right? A hundred bucks just to get the base box. Um, and then there's an X-Men box and then there, right, you can separately get like the Kickstarter extras box, and I was fortunate to find um, a guy selling that at a good cost at on like just Facebook Marketplace. Um, but yeah, Zombies is fun. That's my number two, easily, easily my number two um, game on here. It's like when it comes to Marvel, very, very fun. I recommend it, but you know I understand that it costs a lot. The um, I am getting married. The, in this coming year and now I'm just like how in the world did I'm like you know getting married is expensive if you don't know that um which it's well worth it I'm so excited for it that's a whole other thing I could do a whole series of videos on that but now I'm like I can't go out buying hundred dollar games here I gotta all right get ready for for the rest of my life so anyway if um you're fortunate enough to be able to pick it up definitely pick it up it's a fun time as far as watching videos um there's a, a channel here with 146 subscribers domination um he hasn't put out a video in quite a while but man oh man the the quality that he put into his marvel zombies videos is unbelievable it's so fun to watch um so i would suggest going to check out domination especially if you're wanting to get into zombies it's like it's genuinely enjoyable um i really appreciate uh, this gentleman for i'm assuming dom for uh putting those videos out so thank you dom and then this other one flex tabletop gaming i think they have marvel uh zombies yeah, yeah here's a whole there's 11 videos in here for i've watched i guess only two of them here but um 
this these videos are nice as well like getting to see it onto the table um, I think there's also yeah I'm not doing it justice I think there's another good channel for this sorry that I'm leaving the other one out but um there's one with I think it's two folks with a pretty sick table layout and all their characters are painted like this as well and they just um do more cool Marvel zombie videos so good channels for it to watch go check that out and now of course I we don't need a drum roll for it right number one it's champions it's uh bada bing bada boom I'm starting a video game here or a video game I'll play through here here we go Marvel CB CDB if you don't know it use that for all your deck needs and whatnot but we're looking at Marvel Champions, the reason we're all here, um, as far as um, content creators go, if you, here's, this is my page, if you scroll to the bottom, um, right, there's so many awesome Marvel Champions YouTubers, um, it's why I got into it as well, uh, Web Warrior Fanatic, shout out to you dude, um, I'm hoping to get some playtime with him, uh, Within the next uh, coming up, uh, funny enough, the same gentleman, um, shout out Kobe, introduced me to Mar who introduced me to Marvel Champions, introduced it to Web Warrior, um, so very cool. And then I found that out, and I was like, oh, we must live in a similar area, and we do. So shout out to you, man. Um, Nelson D20 Villain Theory, um, also like they're you know are the ones streaming, uh, making a ton of videos, like they're. You know, D20 is trying to make a life out of it, um, which is awesome, and um, or living out of it. Right? Uh, Nelson, it's just so cool. Those guys are great. Um, I really appreciate you guys for encouraging everyone to like do stuff like this um, and play. And then we get, you know, there's all kinds of different stuff. Uh, Daring Limes doing a lot of stuff. I talked about uh, Get Up and Game and Dale, just uh, you know, incredible, incredible <laughs> uh, channels and videos to watch um then you have our other guys here you know um sorry I, I, there's so many that i'm leaving i'm leaving folks out here i know um i just haven't checked this out in a minute um i like recently put daring lime in here because i know he's active um but yeah check those guys out um i'm hoping to make you know video that's of their quality um hoping to get there at some point um and starting with getting some facetime with you guys so yeah um, that is my five and honorable, honorable mention that I'll throw in, which just based on the games that I have is, uh, X-Men Mutant Insurrection. Um, this game, again, I think it was a, um, a Barnes and Nobles half off deal that I saw this and I was like, yeah, why not? Um, it's fun. You know, it's another dice rolling game and I like rolling dice. So I don't even know if I mentioned that about Marvel Zombies, but Marvel Zombies is a dice rolling game, um, so it's fun, and so Insurrection, you pick a character, I don't know, I'm frozen, oh no, my whole system just crashed on me, which is definitely telling me to wrap it up, um, I've exhausted this video, I'm sure, thank you guys so much for joining, um, uh, please you know, like and subscribe, do all that stuff. It's awesome and it helps. And I'm definitely comment too. I'm looking forward to getting to know the folks who are, you know, into champions. Um, I have, um, feels like I have limited time at, to get into the stuff and really get into community things, but I'm looking forward to trying to find more time for that and like getting to connect. So anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate it. We'll chat with you guys later.